It took time to accept Lister's methods, but by the 1880s, antiseptic surgery was the norm in Britain. 1. Koch's work on bacteriology had helped prove Pasteur's germ theory. That germs cause disease and therefore using antiseptics to kill germs would prevent infection and disease during and after surgery. 1. As surgeons began to use antiseptic methods correctly, infection rates fell, helping to prove that the methods worked, so more surgeons used them. 1. Koch's discovery that steam was as effective at killing germs as carbolic acid, meant that conditions during antiseptic surgery slightly improved. The use of Koch's steam sterilizer to remove germs from all surgical equipment, also meant that surgeon's skin was not damaged as it was through using carbolic acid. All surgical instruments and equipment were steam sterilized. Operating theaters contained easy-to-clean surfaces. The entire room including the walls, floors and all surfaces were thoroughly and regularly cleaned with disinfectants. Patients wore sterile gowns during operations and sterile bandages and cloths were used on wounds. All medical staff in operating theaters wore sterilized gowns, caps and shoe covers instead of ordinary clothes. Sterilized rubber gloves were worn by surgical staff who also rigorously scrubbed their hands and arms before operating. Surgical staff wore face masks to prevent them from breathing germs onto the patient. These methods are still used as the basis of aseptic surgery today.